What's up guys, in the last episode of Odds and Ends, we took apart an Xbox 360 controller. I'll leave a link down below. Today, we're gonna try and troubleshoot this eject button that isn't working. Alright, so before we get started, I just want you guys to know that this is not a console teardown video. I'm not going to show you or explain how to take this uh, console apart. All we're going to work on today is figure out what is wrong with this ejection button. The console works. It works great. I've taken it apart. I've cleaned it out. Uh, reads disc really, really well. Almost like new. Uh, but the ejection button doesn't work. You can open, open it with the, uh, the controller and all that stuff. But we're going to try and troubleshoot and figure out what is going on inside uh, this console. Now I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube guys sticking credit cards and knives and smacking this thing on the side to get the disk drive to work open. That is not the problem that we are having. Uh, the problem that we're having is when we push the button, the console isn't reading that we've pushed the button and the motor's not activating and the disk drive's not sliding open. Usually those guys that you see on, on uh, YouTube with uh, sticking knives and stuff in there, they'll push the button and you'll hear it grinding. It'll, you know, it'll sound like it wants to open and then it won't open. So that's not, that is not the issue that we're having. The issue that we're having again for the third time is just this ejection. It might just be the button. It, it could be uh, something else, but we won't know until we get in there. So let's just go. All right, guys. So welcome back to the Xbox saga. <laughs> I have this thing uh, taken apart. And uh, this has been like a three video kind of thing we've been doing. But uh, we can use the, the controller to open the disc tray. And we can use the controller to close the disc tray. But when we try to actually use the button, it doesn't work. Now usually when you have like a gummed up uh, disc drive, whether the belts are bad or the rails are got dog hair wrapped around them, you'll hear it. It'll start to like run and then it won't open. I fear that it is this part right here because when you push that in, the disc tray opens. So the disc tray will close. So I, I think what happens is I'm going to need to take this out and uh, take a look at it a little bit more. And if you ever need to replace these, all you do is just take a small flathead screwdriver and uh, you push down on this part right here and uh, the whole button should come right out look you can even do it one-handed uh, let's just run a real quick test we're going to take a small screwdriver we're going to stick it in the, the ejection port hole thing there oh may hit it twice there we go so the disc tray does work uh, it's not like an issue with the motherboard or some soldering issue And we can close it so looking at this piece it's, it's got to be this piece because the button works the disc tray works everything's been taken apart and cleaned out uh, I'm gonna see what my options are for uh, replacing this piece I did sort of read something where if you boil water and then you can bend this green part down uh, to get the uh, pin to sink a little bit deeper into that hole so it'll touch the pad but uh, we'll see what we got going on all right, so here is our part. Here is our ejection button. This is what I decided to do. Uh, after some research, there are some crazy people out there. They got some crazy solutions uh, to this problem. And uh, one of them is to boil this entire piece in hot water. So you can bend this green part a little bit more to the right to give it a little bit more bend. Uh, some guy actually soldered in a screw like took a took a part of a, a nail and put it down in in that hole he basically basically what he did if i can explain this uh is in this green post he took a small nail and he put the nail inside of the uh of this green post what i did was i took a nail and i cut the head off of the nail and then i super glued it uh to the top of the post and hopefully that will give us the link that we need to get in far enough to hit the uh, the eject button. So 
let's go ahead and reinstall this. Again, this is one of the easiest parts on the entire Xbox. You just kind of line it up and kind of do it one-handed. Push it in there. Oh, this drive open. This drive closed. And uh, the console should come on here in a second. Boom, there we go. Hooray, Xbox. And uh, let's just take a quick look. Yeah, so it's working now with the eject button. I don't know how long that uh, that super glue job in there will last. But uh, I'm just going to keep this console around around the game room for, uh, you know, testing and stuff. So it looks like we fixed the problem. Let's get everything back together because once you put this plastic part on, uh, it gives it a little bit more force on there. And I don't want to make, I want to make sure that uh, with the covering on, it's not pushing so far down on this green post that the top of the nail is touching the uh, the port, the uh, the button or whatever in there to where it won't open and close. So we'll get it together and we'll see what we got. All right, so we got the cover back on, everything's back on, Xbox is still working. So this is what I was talking about. There's, you see that little green part, that's from the post on the ejection button. Uh, it's not, when this cover is off, it has no like force pushed on it, there's nothing pushing on it, but uh, so now that the, the other side of the casing is, is put on, we'll test it, see if we've actually fixed it. This drive opens. This drive closes. This drive opens. This drive closes. So guys, I think we're going to call that a successful repair. Uh, parts, like I said, they're like $5 for this thing, so to replace the ejection button. But a uh, little home fix, never hurt anybody. Especially since we're only going to use this console for testing purposes. Keep it around the, uh, the game room here so I can test games and controllers and cords and whatnot. But yeah, pretty cool. Really easy fix uh, to fix your disc tray. Alright, so that looks like a successful fix of our 360 ejection button. Uh, I would never sell this to someone like on uh, Craigslist or something without letting them know about that uh, beforehand. Because there's no, first of all, it's not really ethical, but secondly, there's there's no telling how long that nail is going to stay on there, and it will need to be repaired after that, if that falls off. But, um, you know, if I gave this to, like, you know, a niece or a nephew or something, they'd probably be happy with it, and they'd be able to use it for a while. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep it around, around the game room for testing purposes. I do have a 360 in the box which when I got to test games or controllers, I got to drag it out of the box, hook it up, then put it away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep this one around the game room for testing purposes. And uh, yeah, hope that helped you guys. If you guys are having the same problem, let me know. If you've got a better way to do it, leave a comment down below. Uh, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, take care of yourselves and we will see you on the next one.